brothers become enemies. Younger brother White Brow, without hesitation, colluded with the Red Mountain forces to launch a battle against demons. After that great battle, Alan disappeared without a trace. White Brow, on the other hand, aged greatly overnight. Now, White Brow has decided to root out the problem and has turned his hand against his own nephew, Aranto. However, upon learning that Huang Hyo had brought Wuko to remove Renato, he became furious. This is because only he knew that Wuko was specially crafted by Alan to deal with Beller and even gave Wuko some of his own life essence. He knew that if Wuko sensed the Spirit King's aura and transformed, Jules would undoubtedly die. After that, he colluded with the Red Mountain forces again and ordered Opping to send the Wind Rat army to provide support. However, the Wind Rat's true objective was to eliminate Renato to avenge the frequent harassment suffered by their tribe at his hands. Meanwhile, Wang Hyo was struggling to carry two children and happened to encounter the Wind Rat leader Opham, who was rushing to provide support. Wang Hyo handed the children over to the faster Aranto and returned to the village to meet with Jules. At this moment, Qin finally summoned the Green Wolf. Meanwhile, Jules was locked in a fierce battle with the transformed Wuku. Under the influence of Meiwa's spirit pearl, Renato slowly awakened from his slumber. But upon waking up, Renato did not immediately join the battle. At that moment, he only wanted to know if Aranto was safe. However, the scene before him filled him with immense self-blame and anger. He pounded the ground in frustration, knowing that everything was because of the guy before him. Renato rushed violently towards Jules, despite the latter's use of teleportation to block his attack. Feeling ignored, Wuku kicked Renato away. Seeing this, Renato ceased to distinguish friend from foe and suddenly bit Wuku from behind. Meiwa suddenly realized that Huang Hyo, who had been lying there, had disappeared without a trace. Following his scent, she found out the direction he had escaped to, and immediately called Renato to pursue him. Wuku turned around to follow the scent, but Jules knew that he must buy Huang Hyo more time. If this monster followed the scent all the way to White Brow's lair, they might all be in danger. In desperation, Jules set fire to the forest to disturb the scent, and indeed, Wuku took the bait. Jules planned to slowly engage Wuku in combat and lure him away, but the sudden appearance of the wind rats pushed them back down the mountain. Just as Jules was about to reprimand them for ruining his plan, Wuku suddenly turned back and tore apart three wind rats in an instant. Seeing this, Jules punched Wuku and sent him rolling into the flames. They both tumbled into the flames together, and then Wuku broke Jules's arm with a single kick. Jules knew his death was near, but the white devil's aura had disappeared. Why was Wuku still so strong? Just as Jules was waiting for his death sentence, the big hand that had grabbed him suddenly changed shape, and with the white devil's aura gone, Wuku slowly transformed into a tiger form before joining.